Hi guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to link your database with the table or how to load your database value in the table or more specifically is it's called a data grid view. So for example, I have this form and it's running now and when I press this button, all the values from the database is loaded into this table you see these are all values coming from the database so how did I do that I will show you now first of all I have taken a button it's simple and I have taken this data grid view you can see here this is a data grid view and just go to your toolbar and drag it to your form <clears throat> so take two th things and then I just rename my button in the text I will write load table okay so when I press this load table button this data grid view should be filled by the database value and the data grid view name is the same as data grid view okay <clears throat> so what I did I double clicked my button so I will go to the method of the button or the function or the event of the function and here I have copied and pasted my code which I usually paste for linking the database so if you don't know this code you can go to the jail list box video or fill combo box video and you can see uh, the similarities of the code because I use these four lines always and the try and catch block always so just copy and paste that code in this method I will just go through the code string const string this is a connection data source local host port your SQL port and username root and password root SQL connection con database is equal to GC new my SQL con string and then my SQL command which you are passing into the my SQL database variable name is cmd database is equal to gc new my command and here you write the query <coughs> for now i just write select star from the database dot e data so i have this database and in this database i have this table so database dot this table name okay and comma con database which is this variable and then I have written my SQL data reader cap my SQL reader and just make a try catch block here if you copy the code from the earlier video for the connection you will see a while loop which I have deleted from here because I don't need that while loop and this is new code I have added in order to load my table or load my database values into the data grid view table so what you need to do is first you need to declare a mysql adopter cap SDA so 
SQL data adopter that's why I have taken this variable is equal to GC new my SQL adopter and then just copy this variable and paste it here arrow pointer select command which is this declaration so if you have some other SQL if you are using some SQL server or some other database you have different SQL command so just copy and paste it here if if uh, no it's different I think yeah so SDA arrow pointer select command is equal to CMD database command yeah I was talking about this yes so this is this MySQL command variable so SDA arrow pointer select command is equal to CMD database and then declare a data table and the variable DB data set or you can more appropriately name it as data table <coughs> if you want is equal to GC new data table okay and then we this will hold all the data from the database and then this adopter will fill the grid view with this data set so write as the arrow point of fill db data set which is this variable and then write binding source cap b source this is the variable name is equal to new gc new binding source and then copy this variable and paste it here arrow pointer data source is equal to db data set which is this variable you see and then just copy the name of your data grid view which is this so just select this and copy this name and paste it here data grid view name arrow pointer data source is equal to b source which is this and then sda arrow pointer update db data set so which is this variable okay and just the code for the catch block so you have already copied and pasted this so the new code is this one so if you want to copy this code just pause the video and copy and paste it into your code so <coughs> this code will load the database value into your data grid view right now I'm uh, loading all the values all the columns of the database so it's loading EID name surname age username and password by writing this query select star whenever we use star it loads all the values but for example I just need only three columns name surname and age how can I load only three columns of the database you can just replace this star from name column surname and age column <coughs> and when you run the program running just login and when you press this load table button it only shows three columns so in this way you can customize your table and just use what column you want to show in this table and just customize your data grid view
when you click these titles you can also change the sorting of the values so it's sorting from maximum to minimum or otherwise minimum to maximum <coughs> so this is also very good quality of this data grid view so i think you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now